What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, Friday is here, guys, the last day for some new mods, but we did get some amazing mods today. Today, for all platforms, we got the Demco 22 Series Grain Cart from Custom Modding. I know everybody's been waiting for that. We got the Camera RT16. We got the Soma Trans FLU65. Class Liners 500 Profile L. Car Transport Trailer. European Safety Signs for Harvesters. And last but not least, the selling point for seeds and fertilizer. Now, for updates for today, we got Ergersh back, which I just probably butchered that name really bad. We got Crusoto pack. We got the BM Volvo LM620 640. And then last but not least, the PLN535. Let's get into these new mods. Okay, of course, the first mod we're going to be going over today, guys, is, well, the Demco. So let's go over the Demco really quick. Where you can find the Demco is under the auger wagon section. Go all the way to the very end. There we go. Right there, we have two of them. We got the 22 Series 1100 and the 22 Series 1300. Uh, 1300 is 71,873 and the 1100 is 69,688. And both of these are 15 slots. Uh, this one, the 1100, holds 44,048 liters. And this one holds 50,215 liters. This does require 300 horsepower and the smaller one requires 240 horsepower. Now for options for these, let's see, we got rim color. We either got white, gray, or black. Main color, we got gray, green, red, blue, or black. Wheel brand, we got the Michelins, which look really nice. We got the Midas, we got Lizard, and then we got the Lizard tracks. Okay, now for de decals, we have standard, we have red, we have USA, we have USA red, we have Canadian, and then we have Canadian red. And then we back to standard. Now on scale, we have the scale lizard cart, and then we have the lizard uh, cart scale plus display, which I love that one right there. Uh, then we got rear hitch, no or yes. Uh, let's see, front chain, no or yes. And then we have oversized sign, no or yes on that. Well, actually no, yes plus support, plus lights, and plus full lights. Uh, we got electric tarp, yes or no, and that is it on that. Let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, and here we are in game. As you guys can see, a beautiful, beautiful auger. I love this auger, probably my favorite auger in the game. I did do a first look on this, so if you guys have not checked that out, make sure you guys do. I go into a little bit more detail than what I'm going to go into today. But anyways, really nice, got the crawler tracks on it, got the scale on it, which it works. Uh, then we also got some flags on the back and then we got the oversized load plus with the hitch and Of course, we had to get the American paint scheme. So let's go ahead and hook it up real quick You guys can see it. Come on. Of course, we had to get a John Deere with it Okay, so there we go right there animations look good Okay, so we're gonna bring up this real quick. So if we go to LB and that pipe comes out Really nice we got open cover. Now the cover, it does take a minute because it's not like, you know, automatically just comes off. It actually has to roll that tarp up, as you guys can see. I love that right there. I love that animation. Okay, so there's that. And then let's see. We also, of course, you can move the uh, pipe up and down over to the side. And then unload here. Whenever you unload, as you see, the PTO is moving. The level of detail is amazing on this. It's all the stickers. Right, let's stop that real quick. And then also, if you go to, I believe it's here, I'm thinking. I was not on here. Why isn't it on here? Hmm. The thing's supposed to actually switch over that oversized load to unload. I don't know why it's not switching. There might be a problem on it. Maybe it's just on PC. I don't know. Okay, but also got the beacon lights on the back right there. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Demco 22 Series Grain Card from Custom Modding. Make sure you guys definitely go and rate this. Okay, now on to the next mod for today, which is under trailers. Go all the way to the very, very end. And there we go right there. This is the Camera RT-16, which includes two trailers. It includes the RT-16 and the RTA-16, which is 28,000 for that one, 25,500 for this one. This one is 14 slots, holds 24,000 liters. And this one is 14 slots and holds 24,000 liters too. Options though, we got capacity, which is 22,000, and then the 24,000. Uh, front platform, yes or no on that. And then unloading mechanics, we got swing doors. 
you got normal door, you got grain door, and then back to swing doors. I'm probably sure it's gonna be the same thing on this one. It is, yes. Okay, so that is the camera RT16. And after that one, we have the Soma Trans Flu 65, which is 41,754 slots on this. This thing holds up to 65,000 liters. It does require 50 horsepower, and of course, this holds your slurry or your digestate. So it's pretty much a fill container you put on the side of your fill, and you can use it to refill. Uh, let's see options on this one. You can change the color, red, yellow, or black. Ladder, yes or no. Where does it put the ladder at? Oh, in the back right there. And then we'll set up, you got standard, you got wide tires, and then back to standard on this. Looks really nice. Wow. And I believe on PC, it does have the manure system on it. And then next one after that one, we have something actually under wind rowers, and it is actually a Kloss. This is the Kloss Liner 500 Profile L. It is 12,297, 4.8 working meters, eight slots on this, requires 45 horsepower, Let's see, options though, we either got weight set ba uh, balls or no, yes or no on those. So that is it of that one right there. Okay, and let's get to the next one. We're actually going pretty fast through these, but anyways, th this one right here is under low loaders and there it is right there, the car transport trailer, which is $15,000, three slots on this one. And of course this can hold your car. So if you wanna have like five or six TLXs, go ahead, we can get them. It's really nice actually, I like this one. Okay, and then now on to the next one, which is actually a pretty interesting one. This is from Cinemod, and let's go over to headers right quick. And there they are right there. This is the European safety signs for harvesters. You got the cover one, two, the convoy agro, you got wide load, and then that is right there. $60 for these ones, $250 for that one, and $270 for that one. Uh, let's see, these are all one to two slots. So let's uh, let's just get one of them real quick. Let's get this one. Let's go ahead and get that one real quick. And let me actually reset it. Okay, so we have a John Deere harvester right here. I'm gonna try to put it in the front of it, see how you actually do it. I think you can actually pick it up. Yes. And it probably just attaches it. So let's just put it right there. And then get in here. And there you go, right there. Actually, the cover looks really nice on there. I'll probably use this on my American tractors too. Even has lights on there. Turn signals. I like this mod. Okay, guys, so that is it of the regular mods for today. Of course, we got one placeable, so let's go over that placeable real quick. Okay, so the only placeable we got for today is under miscellaneous. Go all the way to here, and there it is right there. This is the lizard selling point for seeds and fertilizer, which is $10,000. Eight slots on this, $1 a day. And of course, you sell your fertilizer or seed. So let's just go ahead and place it. So there we go right there. It does put a pad down. Uh, lights, yes, and you just bring them right into here. Let me see if it actually shows up on here. Bell, cell point, sawmill, looks like it does not show up on here. Okay, but anyways, that is nice though. We can actually have a place where we can sell our seed and fertilizer. Okay, so that is it of the regular mods for today. Of course, we did get some updates, so let's go over those updates just really quick. Okay, so for the first update for today is for Urgersh back, which I know I'm Badly pronouncing it, but anyways, they changed log on that one. Added traffic, added pedestrians, uh, a snow mask update, improved performance, fixed biogas plant, fixed silos. Many textures have also been changed on that. Fixed building collisions, fixed tip coil collisions, fixed the farmlands, fixed triggers, fixed nav meshes, fixed water triggers, fixed doors, and more bug fixes and improvements on that. And it says this: you need a new save game. So if you're on it definitely save it guys okay so that is for that one the next one the Crisoto pack what did this change on this one added the support for compost and improved compatibility and functionality on that one then we have the bm valvo lm620 640 the change log on that one let's see uh fixed wear on bucket fixed pallet fork center of mass fixed fenders going through body fixed steering bar going through fender fixed black ao spot on fenders fixed some bad normal map spots added lights on the fender option two, added bucket emitter, smoke and effect inside I3D, changed so the wheel loader adapter attacher is hidden until you attach a wheel loader attacher, and also changed diesel capacity on that one. And then the last one we have is for the PLN 535, the change log on that one, added new colors and minor and fixes and improvements on that one. Okay guys, so that right there is all the new mods and updates for today. Let me know down in the comment section below guys, which one was your favorite mod for today. Also, let me know which one was your favorite mod for the week. But anyways, today's schedule after this video, of course, will come out FS Daily News. And then of course, tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, 
live streams. So have an amazing day, guys. Remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an amazing day, farmers. Peace.